In this video, we're going to learn how to select input sources in Smart Version 9. Whether you're using the Suite, RT, or LE version of the software, the process is the same. To begin, we're going to look at selecting our input sources from the default program state. If your Smart is not at the program defaults, you can return to defaults by going to the Config menu, clicking Manage Configurations, and then clicking the Restore Defaults button. When I select yes, the program has reset itself to defaults. The pop-up message is letting us know that there are no measurements configured, and we're going to start the process by selecting our input sources. When I hit OK, it brings me to the IO config dialog onto the input tab. Now I can return to the IO config dialog at any time when I'm using the program simply by going to the config menu and choosing IO config. In the top half of this table, it shows all of the I.O. devices that are connected to my computer, powered on, and recognized by my operating system. In previous versions of Smart, Smart would scan for connected I.O. devices when the program was launched. And so if the device was not connected, powered on, and recognized at that time, it wouldn't show up in this table. Smart version 9 allows hot plugging I.O. devices. So if your device doesn't show up in this list, you can connect it and wait for it to be recognized by your operating system while the program is still open, and then it will populate into this list. Today I'm going to be using the Audient Evo 8 interface, so I'm going to select the Use checkbox for that device. And when I do that, it adds a tab to this table at the bottom, showing all of the available input sources from that device. Now for today's work, I'm simply going to use two inputs from that device. So I'm going to leave four and five selected and deselect the rest. And I can see that my device is connected and functioning properly because I can see the input signal for my microphone on the input meter. The last thing I'm going to do before I close this dialog is give my inputs friendly names so I can recognize them wherever they show up in the program. Since input 4 is my microphone, I'm going to call it Mike. Then I'm going to hit enter to set the name and drop me down to the next one, which I'm going to name loop in. Now that I've hit enter again to set both names, I can close this dialog. And we see that Smart has created a spectrum engine for me automatically for each input that I selected. Now I'm ready to begin my work.